वेलकम बैक ऑन इन्फो फोर ट्रिपली एंड यू आर वाचिंग अ सीरीज ऑन पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स यूजिंग मेटलैब सिमलिंक दिस इज फिफ्टीन वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज इन विच वी विल लर्न टू सिमुलेट स्टेप अप चॉपर विद आर लोड एंड कैपेसिटर फिल्टर यूजिंग मेटलैब सिमलिंक एंड यू आर विद परमजीत सिंह जमवाल in this video we will continue the simulation we have created in 14th video of this series so first of all open that simulation and save this simulation with different name before proceeding towards the capacitor filter we will check the waveform output voltage so run this simulation and see here this is our present load voltage which is varying from 0 to around 480 volt it means this output voltage has a ripple of 480 volt and this type of voltage waveform is not required so now we will add a capacitor filter across the resistive load so first of all make a copy of this resistive branch and paste it here now click on this block and update the branch type of series rc branch block from r to c by default its setting is 1 microfarad initially i am selecting 500 microfarad now it is a capacitor now connect it across the resistive load and now run this simulation now you can see that our ripple has been reduced for more clarity we can uh, increase the running time of this simulation to 1 second so now you can clearly see that our we are getting the constant dc voltage which is having certain ripple but lesser than previous one because previously it was 40 volt and right now it is around 400 to 480 it means now ripple has been reduced to 80 volt from 480 volt now we will increase the value of capacitor filter now i am increasing it from 500 microfarad to 1000 microfarad now again run the simulation now you can see that further ripple has been reduced now the ripple in the output is around 420 to 460 it is 40 volt we can further check the another value of capacitor now i am increasing it to 2000 microfarad again run the simulation now check its ripple it is around 430 to 450 now it is decreased to 20 volt now click scale x and y axis limit now you can see that we get the proper constant voltage and constant load current with the use of capacitor filter so this is sufficient for today I am thankful to Mr. Ayan Das for his kind feedback. If this video is useful to you, then like and share it. If you have any query or suggestions, then let me know through your comments. If you want to get the notification about our upcoming videos, then subscribe our channel and click on bell icon. Thank you for being with us.